So one of the things to consider as a gospel patron are the risks involved. Businessmen are acquainted with risks. They take risks all the time. But as we look at taking risks for the sake of the gospel as a patron, how do we think about that? Well, as we look back in history and consider the stories of gospel patrons, and we see William Tyndale and his gospel patron named Humphrey Monmouth, Monmouth was a man who associated himself, partnered with Tyndale, ended up in the Tower of London for a year. He didn't know if he'd get out of there alive. He didn't know if he'd get back to see his daughters and his wife again. I mean, he suffered for the sake of the gospel as a businessman. The English Bible, which spread the gospel, was worth it. When we look at Lady Huntington, who was George Whitfield's patron, she was an aristocratic, high society woman who now is associating herself with these passionate evangelical Methodist preachers. She's opening up her home, inviting her friends and peers, and then setting up these preachers to preach. I mean, they began to look down on her and despise her for her doctrine, but she was willing to put it out there and take a risk for the sake of the gospel. She loved people and she loved the Lord and wanted to see people meet Jesus. When we go to scripture, we see that Paul was accompanied by Priscilla and Aquila. They were tent makers with him. They partnered with him in church planting. And he says in Romans chapter 16, verse three, greet Priscilla and Aquila, my fellow workers in Christ Jesus, who risked their necks for my life, to whom not only I give thanks, but all the churches of the Gentiles give thanks as well. So evidently they took a huge risk, even for the sake of Paul's life, but in the end, it results in this amazing thanksgiving to God from all of the churches. But it's for the sake of the gospel. So we move forward in the face of risk, knowing that we have a sovereign God over us who loves us and will use all things for our good. Let's be gospel patrons who are willing to embrace risk, willing to step into it to see more and more and more people meet Jesus.